Ők mindenki egy folytatjuk a Fable 3-ot. Aj. Ott van Sochi Bertői szerintésen. Köszönöm az elrabolva rész. I'm very sorry, but I'm afraid you'll have to go somewhere else tonight. Somewhere else? And where would that be exactly? Every other place we go. And I'll freeze to death on the streets. And that's if Logan's goons don't bash my skull in first. But you think you're the only one who has problems? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm just... Uh, look, I wish I could help you, but I can't. Might as well go to the morgue. Gonna end up there soon anyway. I hope you're not looking for somewhere to stay. Because this place is about to close, for good. I have no choice. I have to sell the building to pay the ransom. It's the only way to get my fiance back. I tried to work up the courage to <laughs> rescue her. Damn that ferret and his gang! They've got everyone living in fear, even me. But if I had you with me, you could go in there and show them what fear really is. We could rescue my fiance, put Ferret out of business, and I could keep the shelter open. Please, if not for me, do it for the poor people who depend on this place. Oh, thank you, my poor love. It's been agony being apart from her. And it's about time those thugs faced justice, the rough kind. They've been harassing the local homeless for weeks. But now this is outrageous. I know where they are. But I'll bring them something better. Laszlo. <laughs> Lazlo. You just cost me a bit of gold, mate. I bet old Harry would take you the full week to get the money. You're an industrious one, ain't you? Just open the bloody door, Keith. Let's have done with this. Right, Mr. Ferret's down those stairs. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on. Who's your friend? In your parlance, he's the bagman. And that gold doesn't leave his hands until my fiancé's walked out of your fetid little den. All right, no need to get all uppity. You just watch yourself around, Mr. Ferret, or things will get unfriendly fast. Man wanted me to be a musician. Nobody in music, though. Oh, Laszlo. I can't tell you how elated I am to have this unfortunate situation brought to a satisfying resolution. Your associate can dispense with his burden by piling the funds upon the table. There's no gold, Ferret. Now you cough up my fiance from whatever filthy corner you're keeping her in, or my 
associate is going to start collecting heads and piling them up on the table. <laughs> my initial judgment of your character was clearly misguided. You possess some heart after all. Lads, tear it out. Das war was. You got him good. Your men are dead, Beric. Unless you want to join them, let us in. It's open. Wie gehen wir doch sauer? You brought this on yourself, Beric. This didn't have to happen. It still doesn't. We merely got off on the wrong foot. I'm no threat to you without my men, and I'm only too happy to return your fiance. I can be quite accommodating. Get on with it then. Well, the thing is, she's actually not on the premises exactly at the uh, present time. She's incarcerated within a nearby a facility, shall we say. That access hatch will provide you with, well, access. The sewer? <laughs> you fellas are a sophisticated lot. Please, go and get her. I'll keep an eye on Ferret. So we then and you clear it should. Log sort of the cash to realize you. Yeah, well, I live in a bad neighborhood. I wonder whose fault that is. Now don't move. as the most destructive tool ever developed and has forever changed the face of warfare, allowing an untrained peasant to kill a highly disciplined professional soldier with virtually no effort. Scholars have begun to speculate. Could this formidable development destroy the concept of chivalry? Perhaps even that of mercy? Only time will tell, and this troubling debate has only just begun. Also, gunpowder is used in fireworks to celebrate various occasions. And if you light off even a quite small one in your hand, it'll hurt very, very badly. I cannot overstate how unthinkably horrible the pain is. Who are you? Where's my fiancé? He sent me to rescue you. Oh, you qualified? I'm not sure I should just follow some complete stranger. Oh, how forward. Well, all right. I suppose it is a bit daft hanging around here. Yeah, I did. Oh, she's a neve. I thought she got curmashed. It's a neve. Igen, tudtam, hogy itt lesz. Thank you. Those things are ghastly. You don't 
told me a year ago that I'd one day find myself wading through the sewers of Ballastone Industrial, I'd have thought you mad. In fact, if you said today, I'd say the same thing. Because it is mad. There's just no other way to look at it. As if the smell and the cloying damp weren't bad enough, then there are swarms of bats. Ugh, disgusting creatures. You'd think all the factories and smog and pollution would drive any animal far, far away. But here they are, right under our feet. I wish I didn't know they were here. What can they exist on down here, anyway? Oh, I shudder to think. But what happens if it ever runs out? Then they might come up to the surface and swarm the whole place. We're doing what we can to make people's lives better up there. But if the bats set upon us, what will Laszlo and I be able to do then? Oh, oh I didn't notice you there. Of course I did. Most a kutyoki képzés az elég... Igen. Barmak, ne ijedik gyorsan! Nem a gyorsak! Hagyd már abba a gyorsulást! Elég! Ne ütös már bazd meg! Lögdessél! Jaj, nem ennyien vannak már, nem igaz! Mikor fogok ezt elfogni? Ezek a legkész szemetettek. Jaj, gyorsan. Jaj, ne ígyél már ilyen gyors! Welcome to the sanctuary. So I guess it's my job. Is that never kidding? Inkább folyasztunk álfonyás pitét. Akkor talán elérjem a dimon ajtóhoz. Nem tudom, hogy egy ilyen 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 il
cobs, right? Very false. <sighs> They're just as horrible as I've always heard. Children disappear from Bowstone Industrial all the time. Their society's invisible bottom rungs and nobody notices. I hate to think how many end up down here. I know who's behind all this, by the way. Reva. Nothing happens in Industrial without his say-so. I mean, really, who else cares what happens to the homeless? Reva wants that shelter so he can turn it into a, a whorehouse or a casino or something. I suppose I should be flattered that such an important scumbag had me abducted. It's going to be a good day when Reva falls. He's done a lot of harm to a lot of decent people. We should be nearly there. Nearly back to... Laszlo. We made it. You get it. Before we go back to Laszlo, I just want to say, you were amazing. I mean, you are amazing. I used to use the word when I was telling my friends about Laszlo. But next to you, he looks a bit boring now, doesn't he? Do I really want to spend my life with a man like that? What do you think? Oh, gosh. You're right. Better to stay with him. Maybe I couldn't do any better. You never know. Thank you so much. You saved the most important person in my life. I'm forever in your debt. I'm so worried about you. Yeah, thanks for that. I was all right, though, thanks to my rescuer. My big, strong, dashing, cunning, fireball of a rescuer. Did you miss me, darling? Of course I did. Sure. Never gave any thought to anything except being back by your side. Oh, come here. So. Can you tell him? This is my idea, Kerry Shabbat. It's my phone, Tosh. Ještě. A ah, teď jsme z Madiaci. Ostatně z jedné mezi nám akorát nějak o fulkletíše. Oh shit. 
That shirt's great. <laughs> I put it down on my knees. Ma de minek így rakta ide, hogy nem lehet ide ágyat betenni. So, are we all set for tonight? I've double checked every bit of it. We just need someone to be the hero. But will that orb thing really work? Well, it's work with everything else. Hobbs, rabbits, wolves. Well, better work. I got all dressed up for this. Where'd you get it anyway? I bought it at a convention. The seller told me it had been in his family for ages. His grandfather bought it from a bloke called Murgo. Murgo, that's a cool name. Sounds like a wizard. I don't believe it. You're a hero. I mean, you're a real hero. That's just what we need. Salutations. We are three magi of great power. I am Madron of a thousand faces, and this is Caliph, Lord of the Fairies. And lo, as I have attested, there is a third who is counted among our number. Oh, for goodness sake, Mark. My mom wants me home for supper. Fine. And lo, that's Jim. Now, Princess Frexia has been taken by an evil baron to another plane. Will you rescue her? All you have to do is take this magic orb, and you'll be transported to the baron's realm. What say you, hero? Will you aid us? Will you aid her? She is completely hot, by the way. Right there. Slash away, don't Hero wakes. Long had he harbored thoughts of vengeance against the evil Baron. Get on with it. So it was that the hero came to the little village of Lightwater, a pretty hamlet nestling under the brooding battlements of the evil Baron's castle. It's a very pretty village. Hero resolved to talk to the townsfolk and see what he could find out about the missing princess. You're kidding, right? If the hero starts talking to all <laughs> the <laughs> the <laughs> Well, some players like talking to people, immersing themselves in the story world. This is like when you told me people read item descriptions. No one reads item descriptions. As it happens, Arturo, the gatekeeper, knew exactly what had happened to the princess. Hey, shut up. You're ruining it. I wrote tons of lines for the villagers, and I think some of them are really cool. Not wrong. Then you're in front, boy. Cool. <laughs> Looks like old Clem is up. Hail, hero. I am old Clem, <clears throat> the blacksmith. I make weapons, and if you bring me some sky metal, I can make you a magic sword. It's a thousand gold per plus. So. A plus three sword is three thousand gold. Oh, and I, I, oh, and I can't make anything more than a plus three because I'm only a journeyman blacksmith. Bit early in the adventure for anything above a plus three. It's on balancing, you see. Uh, forging doesn't work. Uh, I didn't have time to do the models. Are you serious? A game like this is all about customization. I am Mildred, a humble milkmaid. To brighten yeah, my joyless days, I daydream about a handsome nobleman, strong enough to dispatch highwaymen, but gentle enough to hold me for hours in his warm, powerful arms. Hang on, who's talking here? You or Mildred? That was Mildred. What about the princess? You should say that Mildred saw some hobs carrying a large wriggling bag. But she didn't. And that she's really hot. Oh. 
Oh, the hero's approaching Horace. Brilliant. Ahem. Greetings, mighty hero. I am Horace, the most gifted poet of our age. Shall I recite a sonnet for you? Oh, radiant orb, into the sky rise, and illuminate for my mortal eyes my true love's face and in silhouette frame her slender and curvaceous frame. What do you think, guys? Nice. Frame with frame. I guess the most gifted poet of our age doesn't own a thesaurus. Dream Sota. Excellent. Hero's gonna talk to Arturo. Now we can get things moving. Greetings, stranger. I can see from your good looks and heroic demeanor that you must be on a quest to rescue the princess. I saw her yesterday carried off by the Baron's evil servants, a troop of hobs. They took her through this gate to the castle on the hill. Well, that's it. No clues to solve or anything. Well, the hero has to figure out how to get up the hill. You mean, like, by climbing it? Hey, no spoilers. Hello, <laughs> Ali. Hero decided to investigate the eerie tower on the hill. It's not very eerie, though, is it? Ben, you did the tower, didn't you? Yeah, but I thought you said pretty. What kind of adventure has a pretty tower on a hill? Be quiet, you two. I'll deal with this. Who slew the last of the wolves, which had proven to be a mighty challenge and far more exciting than the rabbits. Yeah, bit predictable though. The novelty of the rabbits wears off a bit when you realize you can't fight them though, doesn't it? Does everything have to be about fighting? Yeah. The yeah. story is conflict. Ideally, with not too much story getting in the way. The hero entered the Baron's factory. Teddy bears. What are teddy bears doing here? Aren't they sweet? <laughs> I put them in. Nice, eh? Yeah, they are. They are nice. You know what we don't want in the evil Baron's castle? Anything nice. Shh. Here come the princess and the Baron. Help. Oh, somebody, please. I am the evil baron, and the princess shall be my wife. And all these bears will, well, they'll do evil stuff, for they are evil teddy bears. I shall never marry you. Oh, she's spirited like that. Nice. old man suddenly appeared before the hero. Riddle me re, cried the old man. Oh no, not one of your puzzles. They're far too hard. Just let him open the chest. If all trimps are trumps, and all trumps are trumps, then all trimps are definitely trumps. True or false? Actually, that's rather easy. Oh, just give him the sword. You ruined my puzzle. Took me ages to work that out, and now he's got the sword far too easily. Should have been much harder. Construídos 
som už sme tu tomu a veľa pejtení. A ty vidíš. OK, who set up the lever? I thought you did. Well, I thought it was Jim's job. Quick, let's make something up. Uh, well, how about it releases a cloud of lovely butterflies? Worst game ever. I'm serious. Well, how about a standard Hollow Man encounter? Yeah, let's have some bloody action. Foolish hero, your pursuit ends here, for you will be devoured by the killer monsters of this ravine. <laughs> And the killer monsters are chickens. Chicken. Yes. I thought it was time to put in something cute, but also to make us think about our relationship with food and that. Bloody hell, Ben, you... <sighs> Wait, let me fix it. There. This is no ordinary chicken. It's a fire-breathing demon chicken. Murder most foul. Oh, come on, guys, that was funny. Oh, whatever with you two. I kind of feel bad for them. Tűzök alá, imu is folyik a tűzre! So the mighty hero triumphed over the fire-breathing demonic um, chickens of doom. Anyway, on he ran, seeking a way out of these dark and gloomy caverns. The hero emerged into the light to find the evil baron at bay. But only yesterday. shall tolerate your meddling no longer. My elite hop guard will take care of you. They hunger for human flesh. <laughs> Be a sport and let them kill you. Another one down. Damn you, hero. Damn you. 
Damn that kid. I should have paid you better elite guards. These hobs are no match for a hero like you. I almost feel sorry for the little blighters. Grass left. Uh oh, making my elite cards. Stop my guards, you fiend. Yes, it's all your boss. Lay at the hero's feet. Nothing now stood between him and the evil Baron. I challenge you to personal combat, hero. But know that I am immune to all weapons save one. A magic sword that is the bane of my existence, which there is no way you could possibly have. The sword! The Bane Sword! It cannot be! No! I am slain! <laughs> <laughs> what kind of rubbish game lets you kill the villain in one blow? Well, you gave the hero that Baron's Bane Sword. Yeah, but it wasn't supposed to be so easy to get. Oh, give it a rest, will you, please? Come on, back to the game. Hero, thank you for saving me. How can I ever repay you? I can think of something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, the hero kisses the princess. But only because she wants him to, being a strong, self-confident woman who chooses her own destiny. Don't you? And they both lived happily ever after? Well, they would have, but the Baron had poisoned the princess and she died an excruciating death. Her inhuman death shrieks tormented a local stable boy who grew up to be a vicious serial killer. And cannibal. You're sick, Jim. Why do you always want to kill everything? Why can't we just have a happy ending? That is a happy ending. I'm with Ben. They both lived happily ever after and there was little to no cannibalism. Oh, great. Yeah, I've never seen that before. Sick, yeah. Great work, my friend. You are fantastic. You have to be the best hero of all time. I'm going to have my bard stroke sorcerer compose a song about you. <laughs> Whatever. We bestow upon you the title of Honorary Master of Dungeons! That's the name. Well, that went well, don't you think? Uh huh, good bit of gaming, that. When's the next session? Same time next week. Hang on, where's the orb? Which orb? Which orb? How many orbs have we got? The orb of interplanar transference.
222 hát És miért ugat így? Ilyen bagos a kutya Sőgaig magas, sőgaig meg valami itt visszanő. Hogyan? You know our goods are good. We're owned by a real adventurer, so you know our goods are good. Well, hello there. Too much gear. Sell it to me. Oh, the smell of it. I've been looking for a pair of shoes. Yeah, they got key million. The more you spend, the better goods I can afford to stock. Enjoy. I hope. No. I hope. Enjoy. Most már ők idejtem, hogy csőr lesz még egy csőr. Könyv, amit fog ajánlani nekünk. Another book for the Academy. How wonderful. Mm. 
Nu sunt oameni cu băutăți. Nothing. Gondolkozunk ki, mert hogy csöre minden megvan -e. Hát egy jészt is meg volt. Meg volt. Vajá! Kettő volt, ha jól tudom. Ez is egy mézben volt. Вот откуда? Вот это за нас мы гондокун. Это и кем висто сам вот. Не мистер мой он. Tehát egy biztos volt. Egy könyv biztos ott volt. Na most éppen most már sem van. E, inkább most megyek meg, még megfájul jobban. Nem akarom erre pocsikolni az időnk. 13 óra. Jó, ennyi volt. Megközel folytatjuk majd a gonosz homályzatból. Ennyi volt. Szevasztok.